Hello again YouTube, this is CM Kozeman, back with a new podcast on giant rats and how big they could really be. Now, uh, over a week ago at the Young Turks channel, the beautiful Anna Kasperian and her friends were talking about giant rats supposedly found in the Islamic Republic of Iran. And here you can see one of the photos from their news releases showing an Iranian sanitation worker with uh, a freshly killed giant rat. Now, the Iranian's environmental minister or somebody has been quoted saying that this is a result of radioact radioactivity or chemical experiments or whatever and anybody with a, a smattering of zoological knowledge can confidently tell you that this is most certainly not the case. You don't need radiation, pollution or other external factors to have giant rats. Uh, to begin with, uh, old world rats and mice, you can see them from our old trusted atlas of uh, mammals that it lists here that there are well over 500 species of old world rats and mice and some of them quite, quite, grow quite big as you can see here almost as big as a foot. Now. The giant rats in Iran could be either one of those large species or they could be just abnormally large individuals of the common black rat or brown rat or the Norwegian rat. <laughs> Apparently, these animals, given the chance, can just simply grow really large. It's just hardwired into their, mm, their way of living. And um, furthermore, these animals could also be not rats, but nutrias. Now, a nutria caused a giant rat panic in Turkey last year. Here, you can see this was uh, taken close to the Turkish-Greek border. It shows uh, on a rainy day a guy with his trusted dog and a freshly killed giant rat, uh, almost as big as a cat. So animals like this are uh, not results of radioactivity, but they're simply pretty common. Now this particular giant rat thing is actually a nutria. And the nutria is a gigantic rat-like uh, South American mammal that was imported to Europe, you can see from this map. Imported to Europe in different dates where it was uh, it escaped from ca captivity and proliferated in, in the wild, being the resourceful animals they are. Now it shows here in Greece, they came to Greece around 1948, so they're pretty, I'm sure they're pretty established in uh, Western Turkey too. So again, this was just a different uh, rodent mammal. But let's think about how big rats or mice could really really grow. Now the fossil history of our world's past provides us with some quite spectacular uh, examples of gigantic rats. Uh, one of them, Phoberomis, it means horror rat or horror, horror mouse or something, could grow as big as a, a small hippopotamus or something. Now here you can see a reconstruction of Phoberomis by a very talented Japanese artist. I don't quite know the name of. I will provide him in the link. And here you can see a size comparison of Phoberomis with a very pretty uh, Japanese anime type of gal. So you can see now, nah, <laughs> at least you don't live way back in the past. And they could even grow larger. Now I will give you the hugest, largest, most mega rodent ever known in world's closed recent history. Behold the skull of Joseph Garcia. I may not be pronouncing this name correctly, but you can just see for yourself. Its skull is almost as big as that of a horse. And this animal was possibly longer than a car. Now, these animals, we only know skulls, few leg bones, so uh, their reconstruction is somewhat tentative. But it's pretty certain that at this size, giant rats did not look like something out of a horror movie. They do not look like 
splinter they did not have the ratty tails or the wet fur or or the weird and quite irritating things we see in rats today rather still they were like huge knowing animals they would probably be grazing around you know wallowing in the mud having sex or i don't know doing whatever that normal animals do and if if they were alive today you wouldn't call them giant rats in fact the the very things which strike us as disgusting or despicable in small animals today if you were to scale them up they would never look like horror movies they would just look like strange larger things now that was joseph Garcia. I'll show you once again. So there's no need to fear from this animal. In fact, you would be surprised that animals like this live today and they are thriving. Capybaras, usually seen as cute um, zoo exhibits or pets even, uh, they're alive, they're going around, they're, uh, you see them in zoos, petting zoos, some people even keep them as pets and it would surprise you maybe to know that capybaras are actually nothing but giant rodents from South America. So, there's in short, no need to fear giant rats. Uh, Anna Kasperin and TYT crew need not record in horror. If rats grow big enough one day, they will simply be classified as a, like in our minds, they would simply seem to us as any other mundane animal like, I don't know, sheep or cows or capybaras or koi poos. And now, with a picture of a capybara, I am bidding you farewell. If I can find it, of course. Ah, okay, here's some capybaras. Ah. So these are your giant rats, alive today, as big as a small sheep. They just go about in their daily business and if you scale small animals up, they need not disgust you. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.